Hello? Hello? Do I sound better? Yes. Okay, fantastic. You also sound better. <laughs> Yay. So you are having trouble hearing and uh, your mic was struggling? Uh, yeah, it's very weird. It is weird. <sighs> okay. Ugh. Everything sound okay? Chat? Okay, good. Phew. Yeah, it was so weird. Like every couple of seconds, all of the audio would die on my end. And I was like, okay, something's wrong. I'm just going to unplug everything and plug it back in. Yeah, that's goofy. Very goofy. Um, okay, cool. I, uh, I've done my cact pots and everything. Oh, man. Okay. Good. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah, I was just giving you time to do your cat pots, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really. <laughs> I did them. I'm done. I'm done. We did it. <laughs> ah, uh, we're hanging out with. Uh, what's the character's name that you use in D and D? That this avatar oh, is. Oh no, of? Yuli. Hold on. Yuli. All right. Maybe I'll remember that, so I can be like, Yo, Yuli. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. One sec. While you do that, I will invite you to a squadu. Yay! Uh, do you want to do um, slices, right? Sure. Nice. weird that I wear clothes in this game. I know. Clothes are weird. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know how much longer we'll last. <laughs> we'll see. Time will tell. Rapidly falling out of fashion. <laughs> That's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> What I thought you were gonna say falling was... off. Oh. <laughs> Clothing rapidly falling off. As God intended. <laughs> Amazing. Oops. No! Okay, everything's fine. I thought I started an ad, but I just clipped a thing. <laughs> Fucking dashboard problems. Okay, I sent you an invite to the squad, by the way. Oh, <clears throat> I hear it, I hear it. Except, okay. Boopy doopy. Oh my God, guys. I, I totally forgot that, um, totally forgot like what's going on in this section right now and I'm so excited to play some more. Ah! Yeah, um, Manga Pod's being pushed a week, guys. Aaron's got a lot going on this week so we couldn't reschedule to another day. Oh, are we hanging out next to each other? We are. It m has nothing to do with the fact that I tend to follow people. <laughs> hey, Arner's in here. Yay. I got two people to... I don't know. I actually did okay last time I did this. Didn't I get through it or was that the other one? I that I always mix this up with. I can't remember. I managed to get through this. For some reason, I was doing it on my own. I think it was one of the w weeks that you were late. One of the rare weeks where I wasn't very late. <laughs> anyway. I managed to get through this on my own. Proud. Well done. I was very proud of myself. These make me so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Downloading FM 14 as you speak. Very excited to play. <gasps> Megatron. Oh no, I went to another one. And I lost. No! Oh, you got kicked! No! Yeah, okay. I did. I ran to like a random one and. Oh my God, I'll try to do it for you. 
<laughs> I believe. Let's go. Let's go. I think I finally... Yes, I did! I put tier, the tier thingies on my favorites finally. I like one where you jump up and down. But... Oh. Uh... Your way. <laughs> oh. Your jump. This one. so cute. Plus it's red. Alright, let's go. I believe in you. Thanks. <laughs> this is for Tiri. No doggy, 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 no doggy. No doggy, 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 no doggy. Yeah. yeah! Got a bunch of mines. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is RNR still up there? <clears throat> I do not see him. Is it bad that I want to marry Arnar for food reasons? Arnar's food always sounds very amazing. I'm not gonna say you say I blame you for these oh, feelings. Oh my god! Oh my life. Without you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, oh my god, I like, by the skin of my teeth, did not die. <laughs> the second like, <laughs> the last one, I was like, ooh. <laughs> you did it though. Yeah. Did I get the new T emote? I don't think so. How do you get the Is T that emote? Is that from the Mog Station? I don't know. I know, yeah, when we first started, I was like, it's weird wearing clothes right now. We're trying to be respectable, you know? For some reason, I look very funny when I wiggle back and forth with this robe on. <laughs> I'm it very amused. It billows just so. You probably have to look, you probably have to look at it from the back to see what I'm seeing. And why it's so funny. I'm just a dork. <laughs> Alright, what do we have time for? Because I gotta get Katie in 43 minutes. Dang it! Uh, I I'm mean, mad at myself. Why are you mad at yourself? I, I I'm being took, late because it was totally my fault. No, it's totally fine. I took the same amount of time. I had such a, oh my gosh, bedtime was so frustrating that I literally was like, I'm just... I'm just gonna sit on the couch and space out for just a few minutes. Like I just, <laughs> I need that. So, Aww. it's all good. Um, well, I mean, we can we can go and like pick up the next quest. And if you know, if it's like you have to do a duty now or some sort of shit, then um, yeah, we'll stop. But okay. Oh wait, we're not in group. I was about to port. Ha oh my god. Nice. Boop. <laughs> it's a new Mog Station emote. Okay. Mm. It's blood fire. Why are you two wearing clothes? I don't know. Should we fix it or are we going to wear these longer? Hmm. It depends. Do we want to blend in as familiars or do we want to be our true selves? <laughs> we can glamour play here. We can just fix it here. That's true, but if if I go if I glamour plate, I want to fix my glamour plate because I'm tired of the gloves and the hat. Fair enough. Yeah, go do it now. Why not? Okay. 
All right. Okay, chat. Do we go with the OG? Or since, you know, we're like uh, back in time, do we, do we go with, um, you know, Dear God, these glam plates. Hey, don't you look at me like that. This is my fishing outfit. Okay. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go. I love how you have so many different Nike outfits. <laughs> Like you change your glamours and it's literally just boots and undies. <laughs> that's that's like all they are. Yeah, that's all they are. I think I forgot where the fucking place is. Oh my god. The inn? In in Limsa, I like go there every time I mess with my glamour plates and I went to the oh. aft castle, but I don't think I was supposed to do that. Yeah, you do go to aft castle and then you Do? And then, yeah, and then you take a right and go across and the bridge. Struggling. So don't go across the bridge to the to the guild, but like the, um, the opposite way. Right, right, right. That way. This way. Oh my god, I'm worried <laughs> about my brain. I like this is where I usually go, and for some reason it didn't look right. Pretty sure I went here a few weeks ago. <sighs> I'm also very tired today. I need more coffee. I might need more wine, mm -hmm. so. Special update. You may now try on gear from the online store via the dream fitting feature. Hmm, interesting. What, like Access clothes you don't from... have? Yeah. Access dream fitting from the bed in the bed in any inn. Room to try on everything from full outfits to individual pieces and let your dreams run wild. Like, that's kind of nice because then you'll know what an outfit actually looks like on your character before you buy it. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And they make more monies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, what'd you go with? Oh, are you doing the... Oh, I'm I'm butt cheeks out. Yeah. All right. Hmm. It felt right for this area, you know? Everybody's all, like, like in their big old sultry robes and shit. So I might as well wear the thigh highs. <laughs> It's the classiest of the <laughs> so classics. The, yeah, it's the classiest <laughs> outfit I have. <laughs> I didn't watch oh, Eurovision. I didn't even know what was going on um, until chat was like, did you watch Eurovision? So, whoops. Whoopsies. All right. I have, I have great ideas right now happening i know bro i have never we have ah. never had this many mods in here during super cousin time i'm overwhelmed you're all lovely thank you for being here i cry <gasps> what they launched artists is it launched on our chant wait is it for real hold Wait, 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 wait. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay, there's a new there's a new role that you can give people if they've if they're like artists that have done art for your channel. Oh, you can give them the artist badge. Oh my god, that's cool. Isn't that neat? Does it replace? Does it replace VIP? I don't think so. I'm about to try doing it right now. So. Oh, that's really cool. Let's see. Very excited for this. Oreo Zima is an artist. Nope. So Danny is now a VIP and an artist. Ooh. So there you go. Yeah, I think we're running around in this. Um. Jisoo is a respectable member of ye old and high society. Um, 
Ooh. Hmm. Remind me, guys. Is Danny Wait, Nick? Wait, but aren't I using Como Milky? This book. Who's the other yes, artist? Yes, I am. I'm gonna keep that. Okay. All right, I'm coming back. Whoops. Getting a tag too. That's like done stuff for us. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad that I'm blanking. It was you. Oh my god, it was Alex. It was Alex. I want to die. You can't add any more artists. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, Alex, you have it. Keep it. Snuggle it. Cute, look at you. Yay. We're both super classy looking. Um, we are. Very cute. Oh my gosh, we will look that much more amazing on our motorcycles with these pants on. <laughs> okay. So good. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I got this just, just enjoying our new biker look. <laughs> so we good. are very cute. Uh, I'm totally gonna get... Okay, it's fine. Can I jump over these? Ah! Yay! <laughs> Forget what the very last thing we did was. Were we just, you were teaching us about the, the shit that's not ether. I forget what it's called. Yeah, we were hanging out with Bird Girl. Um, they were teaching us about the force. They were teaching us about the force, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, if you're And if, no one told me. If you're here and you're not sure what's going on and you want to play this game, please go away. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's rare for me to say please don't watch my stream, but pl please please don't watch this <laughs> please don't watch this stream if this is going to spoil you. We are in deep 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 and walky sh shit, okay? <sighs> okay, I've said my piece. What do you specialize in? <laughs> but I want to know. But once upon a time. Hmm. 
keep. Sure, I'll help you tend to this creature that I'm pretty sure isn't going to be in existence because I'm from the future. But that's all right. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> is bigger than your burb except i shrunk it in my settings <laughs> all right <laughs> dang it i kind of wish i hadn't now finding that compare the sizes of them you want to compare burb sizes <laughs> Water burb. Man, Emmett's really like a stickler for the things he thinks are rude. <laughs> he made like a kind whole of amusing. Big... Uh, what were you gonna say? Sorry. Kind of amusing coming from somebody who's so rude himself. <laughs> like. Last time he made a whole big deal about them not wearing masks. Like, well, obviously, normally we wear masks because it's it's pretty fucked up not to wear masks, right? And I was like, oh, I guess so. And then <laughs> this time he's like, surely you don't transform in front of anybody. Surely you don't just like do this on the regular, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, Emmett. a negative Nancy. He always wants to have something to complain about. Just let people live their life, Emmett. God.
It's very funny to like. Yeah, it's literally like. Sorry, JJ was. I heard water like spraying really hard, and I was like, "What is my son doing in the oh, kitchen?" No. But he was. He just had like the. We have the toggle thing where it turns into like a. Like a spray, like from a shower head type of spray. Oh sure. Um, and he had that on in their dishes in the sink. He's like, I was washing my dishes. I'm like, okay, I just, you and water oh, sometimes cute. don't mix well in the, in the house. Yeah. So it's just, it's really cute. But, uh, yeah. He's that kid that, like, you'll go into the bathroom and there'll be soap, like, all over everything. And you're like, yep. why? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I love this. This Hithlodeus gives no fucks at all. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, he's gonna like be scary and say no. I need you to just keep asking. <laughs> and eventually he will say yes. <laughs> it's just very funny after last expansion to like be around a character who's like, Emmett? Don't fucking, don't worry about Emmett. <laughs> yeah, he's like getting bullied, dude. It's so funny. Um, proud to know that in a past life, Hithlodeus was also my friend. <laughs> I clearly have good taste. It's fun to see him, like, with friends. <laughs> I know that sounds so stupid. It's like, oh, Emmett did have friends. And, like, like you could see why... I don't know, why he, like, tried to recreate it, basically, you know? Like, this was obviously the best time of his life, you know? Lodeus is the Ernie to Emmett's Burt. Yeah, retweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember um, before Emmett just like wanted to kill a bunch of people? <laughs> Do you think living for 12,000 years would drive even the kindest person mad and Emmett was no exception? Yeah, 100%. Like I said last time, it's really interesting all of the groundwork that they've put in place before we're actually getting to see what this world looks like, you know? And, and what, and actually meet these people before the world fell apart. This is the first time I've been graced by the amazing PNG tuber. Oh, thank you. I'm muted so that um, Tiri doesn't hear me talking over cutscenes, so it's not moving currently, but once I unmute, you'll see it move when I talk. It's very fun. Get your boy all covered up for the occasion. Where? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
since when? That's true, my ankles are covered. Because I'm a classy bitch. The important parts are breathing. Hello? JJ, hi. JJ's being very distracting. Okay. Doing my best. Beep. Oh, shoot, I got battle. Oh, I should auto follow you. Don't leave me off the edge. Oh my gosh, okay. Are you auto following okay, I'm me? Following. Yeah. Yay, fun. <laughs> Eventually, we'll actually remember that's a thing. <laughs> I, for some reason, I mean, I used it all the time in WoW, and I knew it was an FF, but I never thought to do it. But we also were using two-person mounts a lot. Yeah. But we didn't need to. Um, but we love our new bikes, so now it's like... Stoves. Okay, chat in say. I have a favor to ask, you sassy bitch. <laughs> nice, it worked. <laughs> I'm gonna call him a punk. Nice. I'm done starting the next battle anyway. <laughs> I'm sad, we're between uh, Stream Raiders events. So it's kind of boring. I mean, it's not boring. It's just there's less fun shit to get. Sure. Oh. Please. All right. Enter. Oh, do the caps matter? Mm. Don't you? Mm. Please, Emmett Self, you sassy bitch. Oh, they're making us beg. After everything, they're making us beg Emmett for something. <laughs> I think you have to say exactly what it says. Boo. Uh, well, you do, but you can put other stuff in it. <sighs> right? No, no, no. Like you are not or... foisting this nonsense on me. I'm given to understand you have the power to help the Charybdis and should be quite willing to do Wait, so. Why? what was the point of me running out here if everyone was just going to chase me? And so I appeal to your better nature, most benevolent Emmet Selk. Please teach her to fly. Or else Hermes will transform right now. <laughs> Surely not in now, front now, of me. Now, now, there's no need to go quite that far. Altruism is its own reward, as I'm sure he would agree. Why did they send me ahead? What was the point? Everyone's coming over here and browbeating him anyway. Oh, would he now? And who contrived to put me in this position, pray tell? <laughs> who Nothing indeed. so devious. I merely suggested a possible course of action. I can't believe he was the cat meme just then. Please, Emmett Sulk. Please. <laughs> She's so <sighs> cute, dude. Fuck. <laughs> this face. I did not come all this way to play nursemaid to your creations. I thank you to remember this favor and let it be the last. I will aid it once it is taken to the air. It falls to you to shepherd it skyward. Well, let's relax and enjoy the spectacle, shall we? I guess. Oh. 
You were wondering why Emmett Selk joined the Convocation. Truth be told, he wasn't the first choice for the office. I was. On the strength of my ability to see Ether. But I declined the offer. For though my vision is exceptional, I am pedestrian in all other aspects. Worse even, quite abysmal when it comes to manipulating Ether, for example. Couldn't transform even if I had a mind to do so. What good is the ability to perceive a problem if one cannot act to address it? Emmett Selk has no such shortcomings. He excels in vision and manipulation both, the latter to an extraordinary degree. <laughs> I love that Emmett canonically has the Shadowbringers collector's amount. If there is a mage more powerful, I do not know of them. Thus did I recommend him for the office in my stead. And I wasn't the only one. Far from it. Countless others vouched for his skill and character. People the world over, to whom he had previously lent a helping hand. <laughs> oh, how surprised he was. Claimed he hadn't done anything remarkable for anyone. Modest to a fault. <laughs> They're all ruining my rep, dude. I would never help somebody. Let it be known. <laughs> he deserved every bit of acclaim he received. Yet he may well have gone unappreciated were it not for a mutual friend. Me? Is it me? A singular soul who can't help but involve himself in the business of others. Where he walks, excitement is certain to follow. Is it me? His antics irritate Emmett Selk to no end. But much of his grumbling stems from genuine concern. It's definitely me. When our friend calls, he never fails to answer and lend his talents. And in the course of doing so, he himself came to be recognized and respected by those around him. <laughs> they are truly remarkable individuals, and I'm proud to call them friends to help them realize their dreams. This will be my greatest contribution to our world. And when they have fulfilled their respective purposes, so too shall I have fulfilled mine. And together we may return to the star. Look at me, spilling my innermost secrets. I can't seem to help it with you. It's so weird, isn't it? I remind you of somebody. Our ether is so similar. I can only assume it is due to the color of your soul. I just don't understand how you can be so alike and yet so different. <laughs> well done, my pet. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, yes. I dare say the Charybdis will be fine here on. Why don't you go and signal to Emmett Selk? Let him know that his arduous task is at an end. Yes, I'm sure he'll listen to me. This power stance? Hell yeah. We stand similarly. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Only 
if you can run in them. Ooh, baby. Of course I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I keep forgetting I have makeup on. Oh, me. Have you seen the videos of ladies running at full speed in heels? I have not. But I have seen um, many people of all genders and sizes uh, do fucking insane things in heels that I would never attend. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Beep. Yeah. Have you waved already? Oh, just, Probably. No, I haven't. Okay. I, wa I waited. Oh. bathroom break after cutting chilies was a lesson learned for me I've told this story before and I'm very sorry um but uh I have a friend who I'll, I'll keep it I'll keep it short and and PG but um I had a I had a friend who made nachos uh with her boyfriend and ready Hello, I'm telling the horrifying story to chat of the time that my friend and her boyfriend made nachos together and then they started getting frisky and then like absolutely burned the shit out of each other's genitals. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. I remember you telling me that. Yeah, story. I've definitely told the story before. It just came up in chat. 
<laughs> uh, good times. Anyways. <laughs> hey, wash your hands after you cut chilies, kids. Or be like my yes. mom and just wear gloves. Yeah. Thanks for the trousers. No, nah, man. Wear. Now they're trying to give us a pants. I know, rude as hell. Oh, well, don't look too bad with the with the thigh highs. Gotta remove something from my armory chest as usual. Oh my god, I also had a hat in here that I have not. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Got mine too. Oh, wait, that's a book. No, oh, that's an ugly hat. Let's go ahead and hide that. <laughs> okay. I don't mind these pants. They're kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yours are like the perfect color for your, your like shit, you know? I kind of feel like Sandy. From, from, uh, ugh. Greece. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Greece. I see. <laughs> I literally, I was going through every Sandy I could think of. <laughs> Emmett Salk very subtly trying to send a message giving you guys pants. He's like, please, just put something on him, begging you. <laughs> I gotta glamour my book though to be all shiny. Mm. Sorry, it doesn't have to happen right now. Um, I should probably not do the next bit. I could probably grab it. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I went on autopilot. That's all right. I'll grab the next bit. Hopefully, it won't be too long. If it is, I'll just. I don't know. Go. Yeah. Why are you bathing in milk? Nacho accident, don't ask. We follow. Of course, the quest is going to tell us to hurry, right? <laughs> they don't no speak words like ESO. So voice acting is in the main story, but the whole main story like not all of it is voice acted. Yeah, it's, it's one of the things that I one of the things that I wish they had more of. All right, I'm gonna go and get Katie. Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna um, hop on your mount and follow me? And I'll take. Oh up sure. The spot. Yeah, I can do that. Oh. Hello. Okay. I'll be back in a few. Okey Gotta go get Katie from the bus.
no. Look at all these dead bladies. Watch Dodger drive them both off a cliff. I ain't no troll. Okay. Absolutely not. Where's my do it for him? Oh my god, I didn't start with do it for him. That's fucked up. There we go. Surely, it's not it's not busy at all. High visual. <laughs> Zenos will remember this. He should. Cause he made this board. It's canon. <laughs> I had no idea who we were doing it for, but now I'm calm again. Yeah. As someone who has no idea about 14, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Um, this is my character in the game. Uh, this is Jisoo, a classy boy. Um, yeah, this is art. Uh, this is the do it for him meme, except we replaced it with fight me, which I believe was suggested by Amarian. Um, there's a character in this game named Xenos who wants to, like, murder smooch us. Uh, I don't think I need to explain what that means. <laughs> so, um, he's, he's obsessed with us. Anyway, I was like, he would make this. this. This is his board. He made this. It's next to his bed. And that's it. That's all of it. That's the truth. We worked really hard on this, you know? Sometimes it's really worth it to just like go all in on a meme. <laughs> Very worth it, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> oh my God, dude. Dude. It's missing the homemade touch of a macaroni border. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> um, well since teary has gone to get her kiddo, I'm gonna um I'm gonna grab like candy or something. It's just some something to give me like a quick like sugar intake. I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this so that you can really just soak it all in, you know? Okay, BRP.
Hello. Oh, there's still a couple ads left. I'll just sit here. Yeah, we are, um, looking around Elpis. I love the screen. Thank you. Me too. Thanks for retweeting my art. Thank you for doing Art of Moral. I appreciate it. You should post it in the um, the Neon Divide community discord. I have an art channel there. If we want to, you don't have to. <laughs> but I think it looks very cool. I liked it a lot. candy. So hopefully that'll give me like a, a quick pep. Oh, tomorrow I ain't doing shit. <laughs> Gonna just recharge, dude. Unless I can get oh, wait, I should message him. I think Jesse and I are gonna try to do more. We were here tomorrow. So I'll do a little stream uh, around 4 p.m. BST. My greatest enemy time zones. Seriously, for real. <laughs> How are the chickens? Um, oh, Bergie is broody. And so she's being mean to all of the other chickens and hates when they're in the coop laying their eggs. Um, Sam was advised that we should try to keep her out of the coop as much as possible because she literally will just sit in there and starve herself. So uh, we, uh, Sam 
basically like took her out of the coop and then just closed up the run. Um, and uh, she was very mad about it. But today she left the coop of her own volition and was just fluffed up and mad at everybody. But she did leave and come out and eat and drink. And so we closed up the run again. Um, and if we saw that one of the other chickens needed to lay an egg, we let them in. Uh, and she would furiously, furiously just pace around the coop, waiting for them to be done laying an egg. It was, it was so much. <laughs> uh, so that's the current chicken drama. <laughs> Yes. Gossip sure is fire when you're past the chicken wire. That's poetry. That's art. This is a phase that chickens go through. Um, it's it's the time of year. Um, so basically, like, Fergie's biological clock is uh, telling her that she needs to sit on some eggs and hatch them. Um, but for a variety of reasons, that that ain't that ain't gonna happen, right? Um, so she's become very territorial. Uh, she doesn't want anybody else on the coop. Um, she thinks it should just be her, uh, so she fluffs up real big and she growls at everybody, and, um, again, thank goodness it's Bergie, because Bergie and I are, like, besties, so I'm able to just shoo her out of there and be like, go eat something, stop being a bitch, you know, <laughs> and, she, and she's like, fine, like, I, I was able to pick her up and walk around with her so that the other chickens could get in there and stuff, but... But yeah, um, she's just, it's, it's just instinct, you know, um, it's not her fault. It's like a cat in heat, but a mini dinosaur. Yeah, I guess, kind of. The other two chickens are looking at her like, homie, what is going on with you? You gotta chill. Mrs. Hudson went in there and, uh, laid an egg. And when she came out, we closed up the coop again and Fergie straight up went to peck Mrs. Hudson. And I was like, don't, come on. <laughs> Not like this, dude. Uh, what are you gonna do? Next time on All My Chickens, Days of Our Chickens. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah. I'm Slurpee. 
Slorpy. Would you ever upload a little video tour of the chicken domain? Um, I mean, there isn't much to see. It's a pretty small coop with a kind of short run. Um, but like, I mean, I've talked about it on stream, uh, but there's a company that I've talked to quite a bit about making a much better living situation for them. I've just been holding on it because I'm not sure like how soon we're gonna be moving. Um, but once they have like, once they've got like, you know, a chicken mansion, yeah, I would love to. Sloppy. <laughs> Curious curios today. That's the one Sam's in. The bold and the brutal. Oh my god. Dodger, aren't there like 18 fans in that house? Yes. Yes, there are. <laughs> I could just go get a fan. Because I put one, I put one of them downstairs and I put one in my, uh, in the room that my mom and my sister are in. And, uh, um, my mom, my mom hates like water, air, all that stuff, uh, earth, wind, fire, you know. <laughs> um, she hates, she hates, like, stuff on her face. And that includes, like, air from a fan. So she was like, oh, I probably won't use that. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Then perish, because it's going to be fucking hot. My AC keeps kicking on, reminding me that the outside is a danger zone. Uh, okay, I'm grabbing a fan. Since we had the whole combo. Beep. We've got air, baby. <laughs> I did not grab the biggest fan, actually. Stares at all of you. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. I don't have any candy left. I, there's nothing I can do. This is a, well, we made everybody uh, click a mature content button. No, I want candy. I don't think I have anything else in this room. I actually cleaned it, if you can believe it. There ain't nothing in here. could chocobo race that's true i could or i could make another meme <laughs> yeah but like what meme is it Compromise with a chocobo meme? Hmm. Okay, hold on. What are what are what are the the meme making websites? What do they say are the are the hottest memes? Panic calm panic, of course. Ah, the two button meme is always good. four panel ones with various forms of dad. Uh, uh, the blank or draw 25 is good. A low tier meme. I made one just now. You ready? This is <laughs> this is uh, this is dead beats. I'm so sorry. This has nothing to do with Final Fantasy. <laughs> this is for, this is for you. Any of you who watch, ah, uh, any of you who watch dead beats. There we go. A low, uh, low quality meme. <laughs> I'm putting it, I'm, I'm. Oh my God. Oh Mario, what is this gif you've sent me? can we do? Let's see. Is your cat boy wearing oven mitts? 
Um, in in one of those pictures, yeah, probably. Currently, no. see what else do we got ah uh, the really ripped dog and the and the sad dog the change my mind meme clearly aren't part of his Elpis formal wear. You know, I've, I'll, I've already betrayed myself here because, because like, look, they, Emmett made me put on trousers. The dickhead. No, wife, stop. See? Unbelievable. No. 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 Those nails. My nails, aren't they cute? They're very long. I think I got these from uh, Gold Saucer. You're completely unrecognizable in those clothes. I believe it. Emmett literally was like, I, I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm begging you to wear more clothing. Claws of the beast, a gold tusser item. Okay. Yarp. That's what I thought. They're pretty cute. How are Sherlock and Watson? They're okay. They're very, um, are really annoyed with the, the state of affairs in this house. Because my mom is like just a, a little bit allergic to cats. So um, we've kept the cats out of the living room, which we needed to do anyway to keep Watson from like spraying in there. So they've been completely kept out of the living room and uh, the guest room. And then we got our little, our little, we got our little vacuum robot. And uh, he's living his best life, um, getting all the cat hair at night after everybody's gone to bed, which is great. But yeah, the cats are just like, why? What did you name your robot? Moriarty. There's a theme in this house <laughs> when it comes to naming things. So Moriarty, the the sweepo robot, uh, picks up all the cat hair every night, and it's delightful. Yeah, I like, I resisted for a long time because we had one forever ago that busted on us big time. Oh no, Teary! Oh, well. Uh, we had one a long time ago that busted on us. And I was like, well, that one barely picked stuff up anyway. So, like, I don't know if there's really a point in ever getting one again. But oh my god, this one has, like, really changed the game. <laughs> Uh, 
I haven't named my robo vac yet. I was gonna name it after a gelatinous cube, but none of them have actual names. What's the model? Uh, I can't remember. I'll have to go look. Yeah, we just we just got a notice on our side that said Tyranny has been AFK kicked. I was like, oopsies. Oh man. Okay, so Hello. Yeah, I didn't want to troubleshoot all over your conversation with your chat but when i went to break mm -hmm. um all of a sudden a make a wish foundation video started playing just the audio and oh. the reason the reason that it's even like connected to my obs is from when we did make a wish foundation charity stuff right i had videos um as a browser source that i would play once in a while and like this is so weird because I've been using my break scene. This was weeks ago. I've been using my break scene ever since and it didn't happen. And it's like I had it hidden, you know, it was still on my scene, but it was hidden. Okay. Which, and it just, it just was playing the audio and I changed scenes and it kept going. And I'm like, what? How weird. So I deleted, I started just deleting the stuff off of my OBS. It was just like a, like a YouTube browser source. Right. It was so freaking weird. <laughs> and what's what's even more weird is when I was trying to delete scenes with the browser source that I was originally going to use, but I ended up just putting the browser source on my regular scenes. Hmm. Um, it was deleting, like, whatever scene I was on instead of what I was clicking on. I'm like, wait, what? And then once I undid that, it stopped. <laughs> like, uh... How weird. It doesn't make any sense. I'm so confused. <laughs> have you tried an exorcism? I feel like that's what, like, I would have felt <laughs> like that's what we would have needed if it didn't finally stop. It was so bizarre. And it didn't matter if I changed scenes or anything. It was just playing. Not, so not interrupted. Strange. And I've been using OBS normally for weeks without that happening. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I guess you're not a streamer if unexplained weirdness doesn't happen sometimes. The break broke everything. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm back. Um, Hello. I see getting, you. Getting Katie didn't even take as long as usual, but. <laughs> but sorting that. everything after it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I right, battle real quick. And then I will click on Hermes. Sick. I'll wait for you. Let me know when you're going to click. Okay. Guess you should have made a wish. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, that's what Jacob said too. Make a wish. Wanted you to make a wish. <laughs> Next Dream Raiders battle. Normally the kids like want a sandwich and carrots and chips and yogurt and cottage cheese and like everything in my fridge when Katie gets home. Today, they're both just like, I'll just have a little bit of salami. Okay. Oh, all right. Easy day, I'll take it. <laughs> I think JJ's tired of uh, not getting his dessert because he's not hungry enough for his dinner. Oh, yeah. I think, think maybe he's catching on because I keep telling him you're eating too much after our first snack slash late lunch, whatever it is. Okay. You missed the chicken soap opera? Oh, is it a story from Dodger? 
Oh yeah, the that's chicken true. soap opera. The chickens have been in. Oh my goodness, one of my one of my chickens is broody, so she literally, <laughs> like, she believes with her full heart that she needs to be sitting on the coop at all times in order to hatch an egg, right? Which we know is not going to happen. We don't have a rooster, so we're like, um, okay, she. Uh, is growling at and pecking at the other chickens if they try to go into the coop. Um, uh. And she refuses to leave. And, like, we had, like, two days there where she literally wouldn't leave and wouldn't eat, wouldn't drink. So um, we're having to, like, forcefully get her out of the coop every day and keep her from going in there, basically. Um... And so today she like left of her own volition and I was like, oh, this is great. That's great. She hasn't willingly left the coop in days, um, but we had to keep an eye on it. And like any time one of the other chickens was like, but I need to lay an egg, we would let them in. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so Mrs. Hudson was standing next to the coop like, hey, let me in. So I let her in and I swear to God, Bergy just paced around the coop the entire time like, What's she doing in there? Why is this taking so long? What? What? what it, it, it takes this long to lay an egg? Like, are, are you for real? Like, what, 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 what the fuck's going on in there? I was just like, oh my God. She was like so puffed up. She was making all kinds of noise, just pacing around the coop the entire time. The second Mrs. Hudson left, Bergie like ran after her and pecked her. I was like, guys, I'm begging you to chill the fuck out. Like, oh my God. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. This poor chicken. Her her body clock is just like, yep, it's time to be a mom. And she's like, got it. I'm going to get real territorial and mean. And I'm like, oh, homie. None of them are going to turn into babies. I'm so sorry. <laughs> chicken drama is funny. Mm -hmm. Are you talking to Hermes? Uh, yes, I'm about to now. JJ keeps interrupting me. Okay. No, it's fine. I just wanted to make Clicking. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Baby. Some reason these trees remind me of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> these little the, I can see the that. creatures. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna fall off the world. <laughs> JJ's doing his job, slips JJ a five dollar bill. Good job, boy. Why would you want him to keep interrupting? You're just saying he's being a kid. Oh, cool. You see, reset. Hey, cutie. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and attune first. I know it's just like a small thing and it's super petty, but I wish that after you've uh, sort of learned the rules of how to have a companion with you, it would stop making you click four times every time. <laughs> yeah. Like just condense it maybe so -and, -so and be is like- currently following you. Like tell us where to find the information if we forgot rather than just four separate windows of text. Yeah. Shadow, lay down on shadow, shadow, shadow. You're breaking the rules. I have food. You are begging. 
Stay down on your bed. You're not starving. You are well fed. Is that but... pizza? Yeah, we got pizza the other day and I have leftovers. Nominal bit of pizza. Get me by till dinner. We went to a high school play mm -hmm. on Sunday because uh, Katie's uh, class went to went on a field trip to see it. I uh, yeah. find out after the fact that they only were shown part one. Oh, what? So then the school sent home a free ticket for the kid, but we had to pay for us. Okay. And at first I was really pissed. I was like, cool, $30, you know, I'm conned into spending $30. Otherwise I'm such a meanie that disappointed my kid. Right. You can't see the end of the story. Rude. And then I went to the play and holy crap, they are talented. I really, really <laughs> enjoyed it. Oh, I'm And I'm so like glad. not even mad anymore. Yeah, they were so good. That's like, great. I'm I've so never. Glad. I don't remember our like any high school. Of course, I don't have tons of high like different high school experiences. I went to two, but I don't. I don't. It surprised me to see so many talented people. So many. Like they had, like, like three different groups of probably ten dancers hmm. correlating together, doing different things. Like not all at once, but like they had their different scenes. You know. Yeah. And like at least 10 amazing singers that had solos like what these are incredible like performances from high schoolers and then they had some seventh grade one seventh grade kid that was incredible i was like what the hell i was pretty excited because it's a local school so if katie ends up going there i mean they have a freaking hella yeah, good drama great. club at least right now but it was uh called susicle the musical it was adorable it was like oh, I've never a whole seen that bunch before, of different. But it's really cute. A whole bunch of different Dr. Seuss stuff incorporated into it. But the main story was Horton and the dust speck. Horton oh. and the speck of dust. I've never actually seen the story, but it's an, about an elephant who um, discovers uh, who's living on like a clover. Yeah, I know the book like Horton a, Hears a Who. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Horton yeah. Hears a Who. I thought it was called something else, but yeah, that sounds right. So that was like the main story throughout. Mm. A speck of dust is a tiny living being. They were calling... Uh, like their world a speck of dust or something like that. A person is a person, no matter how small. Fucking cute. Anyway, I'm done, maybe. Jimmy, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, guys. Hello, everyone. Um, full disclosure, we are deep in spoiler territory in uh, Endwalker. So uh, if you play Final Fantasy XIV but you're not caught up, or if you plan on playing it eventually, uh, I don't say this often, but please leave. <laughs> I don't want to spoil you. Um, we're like deep 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 in endwalker spoilies so uh tread lightly and otherwise uh i hope you have a good time
Thank you for the raid, Jimmy. I appreciate it. <laughs> wow. New footies, let's go. Insufficient armory chest space. I haven't heard that in a while. Oh man, I'm getting it all the time, especially with chest and uh, leg. There's one other one. Yeah, I need to go. Need to clear mine out. Problem is, I have like a bunch of different level crafters, so I'm keeping like a variety of levels of crafting yeah, stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. They're, I mean, some of them are really close together, but... It's been a while. How are you, how are you enjoying Fields Walker? I'm enjoying it a lot, Amethystine. Hope you're well. Nice mask, nerd! <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. He's an adorable nerd. I love Hermes. He's such a sweet bean. Yeah, Hermes and Hithlodeus are very good. Yes. Emmett is a great jackass. I mean, <laughs> you know, he's amusing in that way. But the other two are so fucking cute. Oh my. Which one is just the pantalones? When you think about it, as them is Alvin, Hyflo is Theodore, and Emmett is Simon. Hmm. No, because Alvin's a piece of shit. Absolutely not. I don't remember, like... I remember Theodore's personality pretty well. But I'm trying to recall more about Alvin's and Alvin Simon's. Alvin sucks. Alvin sucks so much. Alvin sucks. <laughs> He's the worst. <laughs> He's the fucking worst. He's a trash goblin piece of shit. Absolutely <laughs> not. Sorry, I have strong feelings about Alvin the Chipmunks. Apparently.
Oh. Those the boots? Booties? Yeah. The ones eh. that I'm wearing right now, yeah. Kind of a lot. Aw, oh, shit! Are. I got the same thing with my boots. Damn it. And so are we problems. And... <laughs> yeah, the these are... Like Alvin. Okay, look. Look. In most Alvin and the Chipmunks shows, Alvin does some selfish, stupid stuff. And then everybody has to deal with it and clean up the mess. And at the end, Alvin's like, Welp. And doesn't learn a single thing. Like, the episode... It, always, it, it never ends with Alvin learning anything. And everyone's like, well, that's Alvin. And I'm like, Alvin's toxic, bro. He's the worst. He sucks. Anyways, <laughs> I'm done talking about it. Ready to talk to Hermes? Yarp. Oh. Discussion may take a while. Can I go will do something else? Out? Yeah, will you hang out with my bird instead? You don't gotta ask me twice. Yay! I'd love to hang out with this cutie. Yeah, that would be great. Can we please? Great. You go have your dumb, stupid, long meeting, and I'll hang out with the bird. <laughs> Aww. Oh my god. Let's go get flowers for Hermes. Yes. Perfect. I've been motivated to plant more flowers. Yeah. But I have a lot of yard work to do before I have room. I've let the weeds take over my whole yard. Bad. Did anybody flip out about the 2D flowers? No, just the fucking no. grapes. That are not even they're not even 2d were they they were like just blocky and weird what about the 2d flowers hmm <laughs> they were weird grapes they're still weird grapes i don't think i ever would have noticed anything <laughs> was weird about the grapes but like what they did to the grapes didn't make them better they're just different weird, yeah. They're just yeah. different weird, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there you go, candied apples. His favorite thing, isn't it? No, that's... Yes. That was hers because it's his, I think, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, when she was talking about what we like, we were, like, getting to know her or whatever. I think it was candied apples that she said was her favorite thing and she said it was because she she like uh mirrors other people's emotions or something like that and so she adopted his favorite food mm. am i remembering that right are you liking the new seminar i switched it for my main this expansion so amethyst i like it in one way but it's boring compared to how it used to be like i miss my dots I miss, I miss the rotation kind of, but it's also really fun to like use all the different pets. I think that that's cool because I didn't switch pets nearly as much as I do now, obviously, kind of forced to. Um, 
I have not paid much attention to what pet I'm pulling out. So I know there's like a strategy like this, you want to do this order for, you know, this reason, certain fights and mechanics and such. I haven't like really dug into that, but mostly because if we do a trial or something, I'm healing. So I don't really need to min-max my summoner damage. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I still find it, aside from figuring out when to pull out each pet, like when they're ideal, what situations are ideal for, I find it kind of boring. <clears throat> Aesthetically better, rotationally boring. Yeah, I would, I would sum it up that way, yeah. What did you switch from, Amethyst? She experiences the happiness it gives him. That's right, yeah. So cute. Summoner literally plays itself in Endwalker. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Something huge? with my husband going and getting into trouble without me <laughs> saw me although i'm slow one it's kind of on me i thought i could lose it i've come to save you well it's almost dead oops that uh, stuff things shit i didn't do much right here my freaking shiny ass pet was in the way <laughs> <laughs> of the sparklies we must find the perfect flower we're gonna end up getting the ones that change with the motion. I assume, yeah. I assume that's yeah. what this is. You could have a new butt flower. Oh, finally. <laughs> Mine turned to ash. Hermes is like he feels sadness so strongly. Yeah. Poor baby. dark emotion. Hmm. Pain and sorrow or fury and frustration. Pain and sorrow. Here you're wearing pants. The game keeps giving them to me. I know it's rude. Oh my goodness. What? One sec, one sec. Okay. But why doesn't why doesn't she feel his pain? She's asking for me to share mine. Can he keep it from her? Maybe she's about to explain that. 
Oh my god, can you imagine this is a cosplay? This would be a cool cosplay. Not that I cosplay, someone else should do it though. <laughs> oh, Dodger should do a cosplay of this. It's got the cute pixie body for it. It's so long since the game gave shorts or undies. I know. Last time I got shorts or undies from this game, I had to deliver a bunch of mail. Damn, these infernal leg restraints. Oh my god, Dodgems, I love that. In Dodger's chat. Hermes wanted her to leave because she was feeling his pain over the decision. Oh, so he just avoids her when he's feeling sad. Fuck. I need people to stop being so cute. Making me want to cry. <sighs> oh man. One of these days, we'll get Dodger to auto follow me. One of these days. <laughs> oh man. I wonder if Katie fell asleep. She got okay. off the bus and was like, welcome back. Hello. Sorry, my sister needed something. Oh. Uh, I was just saying that, I wonder if Katie fell asleep. She got off the bus and was like, mom, I just got all rested for you. Literally, she's been saying that. At least she doesn't misuse it. <laughs> Literally, I, I fell asleep on the bus and I was like, oh, nice. And then like in the car, she was like, she was asking if she wanted to play outside and she's like, yeah, but it'll take a while, JJ, because I might need another nap. I don't think I'm fully rested. Oh, <laughs> that's very cute. Their bedtime was like an hour late last night. I felt like a horrible parent. But I'll just blame Ed because yeah. technically it's his fault. Did that fill you with the pain and sorrow of loss, perhaps? Yes. <laughs> I was saying I need everyone to stop being so cute because it's making me want to cry. Oh. Hermes. Oh, voices. <laughs> Yay. Oh, you were waiting for me. You I'm regretting the pants. Talking. She's so cute, I want to die. Yes, we've come to a decision. My thanks for keeping me to your company. Emmett Selk and Hithledeus have already retired to their rooms. Their rooms? There is room for you too, if you would follow me. Wait! I want to show you something first. Oh, how is this gonna go? Hey, bro, I was hoping I could share um, my feelings of sorrow and loss Tell me. with you. Elpis flowers? Go on. <laughs> okay, hold, hold, hold. Oh my god, I affected all You're of them. You're not the only one, Hermes. Others feel sad too. You're not alone. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I see Mision has shared much with you. May we talk a moment? A hedgy.
I do not think it wrong that we live for the star, that we strive to make it a better place. And yet, in carrying out my duties here, there are times when I am plagued by doubt. Do you recall what Hithlidae said when we first spoke of my nomination? Death is the privilege of those who have fulfilled their purpose, a choice they embrace of their own free will. And when they depart, it is always beautiful. Perhaps it is, but only for man. Creations that he deems useless are discarded with nary a second thought, some scarcely born into the world, afforded a handful of breaths before life and potential are abruptly extinguished. We make an effort to spare them the pain. But they sense what awaits. Rage and anguish and cower and fear. And it is not beautiful. Yet no one cares. No one. So fixated are we upon the duty that we do not pause to question the method. Pain and suffering. Confusion and despair writ plain in the eyes of those poor creatures. Yet no one sees. We turn a blind eye and carry on in blissful ignorance. Not amiss. And always, always the blossoms shine pure and white. A contradiction so blatant I could scream, want to scream. How can you all accept this aberration? Then I wonder, am I the aberration for thinking thus? And I am filled with dread. But now I know I'm not alone. Not the only one for whom the flowers weep. Owen asked what you thought as he kneeled beside the Alpis. Or if he only did it at Meteon's insistence. Nevertheless, I thank you. To know that you too have experienced suffering is a comfort. <laughs> I could tell you all about suffering, Jesus. To so willingly lend an ear to ease my burden. You are a strange one. The stars in the heavens. Know you what they are? Though it is too far to tell, each glittering light could be a world not unlike Aetheris. A world filled with life. So many stars, so many lives, for us, there may be no higher purpose than to live for our world. But what of the other living beings out there? What is it that gives their lives meaning? That drives them day after day after day? To pose that question to our undiscovered cousins, I created beings of dynamis, who can traverse the vast emptiness between the stars. Meteon and her sisters. I, sisters, she has a great many of them, and they have already departed on their journey, traveling to one star and then the next in search of life, as one might expect. Exploration on such a grand scale is rife with difficulties, and thus far I've naught to show for it. But I have faith that we will make some manner of discovery ere long. And when we do, I should be glad to share our findings with you, in gratitude for your kindness. It's getting rather late. We had best find our beds. It would not do for both of us to be sleep-deprived on the morrow. Come, Meteon. Let us head back. Oh no. What? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh. 
Um, okay, I think I like didn't, if I'm being honest, I don't think I fully understood what he was trying to say about her. Um, he didn't create her, is that what he's implying? Okay, just fine, just smile, just smile, just smile. for a second just for a sec just to see how it feels you know Uh oh, did somebody get in trouble? In trouble? Who? No. No, we're just preventing trouble. I see emo only mode. <laughs> oh. Did you ask a uh I a I was question? like well, I was like, I wonder I I don't think that I fully understood because I'm getting sleepy. I was like, I don't think I fully understood like what he was saying in that conversation, aside from like I know I'm not alone now and other people get sad sometimes. Um, and I was like, did he not make her? And now everybody's just sending emotes to me, so. Mm. It's fine. All right, Hermes, what's, what, what? What do you want to say, Hermes? <laughs> I thought Emmett and Hithlodeus were in their rooms. I thought they had retired to their chambers. Maybe this is a small conversation we're having before bedtime. Maybe. Bedtime story? The whole thing is a bedtime story. Sky, it's day now. You already slept. It wasn't dark when they said it was late, though. Yeah, it wasn't. In that cutscene. It's funny because, uh, was it? Ooh, ether current, just plain as day. Oh, nice. Good shout. Um,. Who is it? Shadowbringers? 
where like we constantly were going back to our room yes. to rest. But I guess in in end walkies, they're like, all right, let's get away from that and just talk about how it's the next day. Yeah, he was I showing mean, like... her the stars. That's true. Oh, that's hmm? true. Oh no! Oh. Time is weirdly flexible for main story quest. It can be late and sunny like noon and the, during the summer. That's true. The kids, that's when the kids are always like, but it's still light out, mom. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to daylight savings. Okay. Damn, his vision is good. He can see ether, so he's able to see like the ether of this creature specifically. He can see souls. Yeah. Must be the server time versus the setting in a quest. That's true because they keep the weather and the sky, like everything the same when you're in a cutscene. Like it doesn't change specifically for a cutscene normally, but I feel like it did for that one. Yeah, because I felt of the that stars way too. thing. Because that was a relevant piece. I like this I'm itself so much more than the version of him yes Same. well i mean i also like hermes <laughs> much more than i like what hermes becomes <laughs> uh. you know they were all great before twelve thousand years of pain and suffering happened mm -hmm. oh my god i thought that flying bed was you i was like <laughs> oh She's abandoned the motorcycle. She's just, she's a bed now. <laughs> I just looked over right after you said it and saw them go by. <laughs> <laughs> this is amusing. Time weather is forced in some cutscenes, which is very rare, right? Yeah, it makes sense though. I don't like either Emmett. Like I wouldn't be fr I wouldn't probably care to be friends with him. But I think his character is a good piece of everything. So just stay alive, I guess, is all he wants us to do. We're supposed to weaken it or he didn't say anything about it. Except to survive the onslaught. Yeah, we can't focus on him, so... Destination. Ah. Oh, I also didn't see that. Yeah, it was like 
kind of camouflaged with all the foliage. Now. Forgive me. Please forgive me. May you and your kin find peace. Wherever your souls may drift in the underworld, may you find tranquil seas. Be not forgotten, in concept endure, to reclaim form and one day live again. Serve not the star, or any purpose save your own. Live again, if that be your desire. If that be your want, we are worthy. But leave your suffering behind. Lay down your burdens, be born anew. Fly high, fly free. Join the convocation, Hermes. You do not belong here. Leave to replace another. To be replaced. It changes nothing. Tell me, do you think it right that we sacrifice all these lives for the sake of the star? And when the star has reached perfection, what then? If all who are satisfied choose to die, shall we all die in satisfaction? I do not know. Were I to take up the seat of Van Daniel, it would be tantamount to approving my predecessor's death. I do not know if it is right. And to be torn by such thoughts. I do not know if I am fit to represent mankind. Hermes! Please don't be angry. It hurts so. Forgive me. If you would still consider me in spite of everything, I beg some time to gather my thoughts. Meanwhile, Hithlidaeus, I fear I must trouble you to attend to the others. Tis no trouble at all. Take as long as you require. And you, my friend. I pray you find that which you seek. Oh my gosh, we're friends. He said it, not me. I expect we have some few matters to discuss. Shall we return to the Twelve Wonders for a time? Aye.
Hey, Death God. I'm enjoying it a lot. Been real good so far. All the feels. And some new gloves. I just got my handsies uncovered. Ooh, they're kind of cool looking though. Oh my god! Chest, pants, and gloves. My armory chest is full. No. Those. Emmett's just playing dress up with the Warrior of Light. He's just desperate for us to put on clothes, dude. Oh my. Cute. I like. I love that yours, your stuff like matches your hair. Yeah. It's red. <laughs> um, I'm exhausted. Okay. So I think I'm gonna have to head out. I know I've been trying okay. to stay up an extra hour. This week's just been crazy. So. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. I understand. Um, yeah. Are you gonna swap to ESO? Yeah. Okie dokie. I'll send everybody over to you. Thank you. Yeah, I love you. I love you too. I hope you have a good rest of your stream. Thanks, I hope you sleep well. Thank you, I'm gonna try it. Last night, Clarky came in here, like burst down the door and was like, mommy, I'm awake and I need help falling back to sleep. And I was like, uh, okay. So I cuddled her. Literally the second I started cuddling her, I passed out and woke up at six o'clock in like a hunched gremlin position in her bed and was like, oh no, <laughs> like, just had, like, <laughs> like I slept, but I felt awful when I woke up. It's like, not again, oh, no. I'm not doing that tonight. I'm sleeping in my own <laughs> damn bed. Oh man. Uh, okay. Aww. I love you. I hope you have a good rest of your stream. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Okie dokie, artichokies. Um, really quick, let's see what happened here. Megatron, thank you for the 66 months. PG Wipeout for the 54. Randomly generated for the 27. Mario Gets Off for the 43. Pineapple Mage for the 53. Delta Lemon for the 4. Jimmy for the raid, thank you again, bud. And for the 43 months. Um, Kraz Woman Yo for the 35. And Poldy for the 53. Uh, shout out to all of our new baby mods. We had so many mods in here today. Crazy. Um, I appreciate you all very much. So tomorrow, normally there wouldn't be a stream. We are going to be doing a little two-hour stream with Jesse to play some more. We were we were here forever, um, which should be fun. That'll be around four o'clock BST. Uh, but otherwise, um, my next normal stream that's a normal length will be on Thursday. So if you're looking for something to watch tomorrow, and you're around when we're streaming, we would love to have you. Um, but yeah, here. Send you guys over to Teary. Uh, take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to go sleep. Bye-bye.